and hello YouTube, this is JS Man with Smart Nimitz. I have another brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at GIMP and how to change the color of objects in certain images. So, for example, if we have a picture of a car here, this is a Ferrari. And if I wanted to change the color of this from red to say blue or green or yellow, there is a way to easily do this. Now, I'm going to be showing you two methods, and at the end of the video, I'll show you a little trick that you can do with gradients as well. Uh, the first way and the easiest way to do this, now be aware this does not work for all images, especially if the object you're trying to change the color of has a color that is basically in another part of the image too. For example, if this car was green and we wanted to change it to red, uh, this method would not work because we have a green in the trees here. Because this car is red and there's no other red in the image, we can very easily make an adjustment with just uh, the colors feature up here and going to hue saturation. So this is the first way. I would definitely check if this method works first. If it works, then great. That's very easy to do. Now what I would recommend doing is duplicating your image first. So right click your image, click duplicate. So you're not doing destructive editing. And then go up to colors, go to hue saturation. And what you can then do is basically what this dialog box is telling you is pick a color in your image. Well, what do we want to change? We want to change the color red in our image. And what you can then do is move the hue slider up and down. And as you can see, the color of the car changes only the color of the car. So we can pick something like a green here and we can press OK. And as you can see, it works out perfectly. Uh, it doesn't affect the, uh, the rims. It doesn't affect the tires. As you can see, uh, there may be a few pink in here. And how you can fix this is once again going to colors again, going to hue saturation again, selecting your pink, and you can move the pink to the same value. Uh, this is mainly because it's trying to get all the shades. And if you have the wrong shades selected, then uh, it won't change everything. So something like that there we go and as you can see it's perfectly done so uh, working with hue saturation is a really good way to change the color of an object however if that doesn't work for you for example say we have this right now like say say, 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 say this was your original image if we wanted to change this now go to color hue saturation say, okay we want to change we want to change it uh, green what's going to happen is as you see that the trees start changing color too because we have more green so what happens when you run into an issue like this where you have some green in the background or you have some red in the background that you don't want to change? From here on, things get a bit more complicated, but it's not too difficult. I'm going to go ahead and delete that layer and start with our original image again. Now what you can do is create a new layer. Make sure it's transparent, keep everything the same, press OK. And change the layer mode up here from normal to hue. Now remember how we changed hue saturation up here? Well now this is a hue layer and we're basically going to do our own technique of saturation. So you want to do is go to your brush tool here and select a somewhat fuzzy, a very fuzzy brush. It can be relatively small, it doesn't really matter. And if I want to select a blue now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and I'm just going to start drawing over. And the cool thing about this is if you're doing it this way, you basically get the same effect that you would get when you're doing a uh, hue saturation. As you can see, all the shines, all the sunlight interaction, all the shadow interactions basically still stay intact when we are coloring over this. Now, over the, over the headlights here, you can color over that because it really won't make a difference. There are some things you can color over like black and white areas that you don't need to pay attention too much to because it really won't change the hue. If you ever want to change your brush size easily, you can uh, choose the right bracket to make it bigger, and you can use the left bracket to make it smaller. Essentially, you could go over this very quickly because uh, the next step, what we're going to do is basically fine tune this with the eraser tool, which shouldn't be too, which shouldn't be too difficult. So you could just do a very rough job at first, like I'm doing right now. But as you see, all the sun's highlights here are still being caught. Obviously, the more accurate you do this, the less work you'll have to do in the eraser portion. So as you can see, now that we have this, if we turn the layer on and off, we basically see the before and after. Now you want to go and grab your eraser tool, and you want to work with a small brush. You still want to use a very fuzzy tool, a very fuzzy uh, brush size, because that way it'll be, it'll be a bit easier to go around. And here, essentially, you just want to uh, go around and 
use the fuzziness of the brush to get the edges here as I'm doing. Uh, for, for tight areas like this, you may want to go with a smaller brush and you could change your, your, your brush size by pressing the left bracket. Right bracket is to make your brush size bigger. Left bracket is to make it smaller. And as you can see, we're just getting all that extra tint that we don't need out from the picture. All right, so there we go. I finished doing the eraser job. I obviously want to do a bit better job than I did. And we did forget to color some of this blue here. There we go. We still got some of that going on there. And even right here. There we go. Just to try to go over this a bit more cleaner. Now, the cool thing is, is that if you notice, we hide the background here. We have this um, outline here, basically, this color here that we've colored over the car. Now, what you can do is grab your paint bucket tool and you can change the color. Say you want to turn it yellow and very easily just click over the blue here. And as you can see, this pretty much changes the color. And as you can see, uh, the blue here, you couldn't really see the yellow tint here. So you may have to do a second uh, erase job. All right, I had to fix that because that was really annoying. Uh, a quick tip, if you're, if you're doing your erasing job, try not to stay too long in the mouse erasing. For example, if you're erasing like that and you just go and keep on going, you'll keep on going, you'll keep on going, and then you end up messing up. If you try to control Z, it'll undo everything. So try to erase some, let go of the mouse. Erase some, let go of the mouse. That way you can erase it, uh, go back individually doing control Z to undo it. Anyhow, though, there are some pretty cool tricks you can do with gradient as well to make some really cool effects. Uh, for example, say you want to do uh, yellow and red, for example. What we're going to do is right click our color here and click alpha to selection on our color layer here. And you see it basically selects the color only. And now what we can do is grab our gradient here and we can do some pretty cool effects like that. Or we can add a gradient on top of the car, it makes it look really cool. And it looks realistic too, because we're basically using a hue layer, which makes everything a bit better. Uh, you'll, as you can see, you can notice with different colors, you can notice how well your eraser job is and you may have to go over it again. But that's just one way of doing it as well. Some other cool stuff you can do is if you wanna basically add a hue on top of the entire layer, go and create another new layer here, press okay. And in this new layer, what you can do is, uh, say one gives us a bit more of a summary look, we can just make a gradient over the picture and make sure you hit hue again. And as you can see, we get a nice summary look here. Obviously, it looks kind of weird here with the red, um, but change it to hue again and maybe something like that or heck, something like that. There we go. Looks pretty cool, but you can do all kinds of different things with uh, setting your layer to hue. That's pretty much of the tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment box below. I do wanna say that I will not be able to make a video for the next week or so because I am planning a trip to see my girlfriend for the first time. And uh, if you wanna go and follow the adventure with me, I'm gonna be doing daily vlogs every day on my vlogging channel, on my main channel, which is GS Man Smart. You should see the link to the channel in the description as well as on the end card. So if you wanna follow us, if you wanna be part of it, uh, so you have something to watch from me, some type of content, I definitely recommend you to check it out on the main channel that I have, and you'll see the videos there. But until next week, probably around Monday or Tuesday, most likely, I probably won't be able to uh, make a video and that would be around the 25th 26th. That's when I'll be back uh, I'm gonna be packing tomorrow Monday. So that's why it's gonna be a week from there So hopefully that'll be okay. Hopefully I, when I come back the channel won't be completely dead and uh, Hopefully maybe I get a few of you following on the vlogging channel But if you like this video like the other videos go and subscribe to the channel We have plenty of other software tutorials on the channel about game Photoshop audio editing video editing lots of cool stuff and uh, you can also donate $8 to my Patreon page. Anything as low as that is always very helpful and very much appreciated. All you got to do is click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen. And it'll bring you to the page. I also have a vlogging channel, gaming channel, advice channel, and a music channel. You want to check those out. Links are in the description as well as on the end card. And with that, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. And this is GS Man with Smart. And I'll be back soon. you think. Don't go anywhere.